Hello great people, welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. June 12 protest has come and gone. Mostly those who were part of it are actually youths, been supported by some persons. But then there are some other people who were part of that protest who are under heavy fire right now because of uh, possibly what they say and um, the reason which they had presented why they you know, identify with the youth in the protest. Now, one of the people, a very renowned person who, were, who was part of the protest, was the governor of Oyo State. It, the protesters were very shocked when they saw Governor Makinde, Shei Makinde, being a part of the protest. Uh, but then, a lot of people, for example, Socialist Party of Nigeria, are saying that uh, he's just trying to see how he can buy his way into the hearts of the people, pretending as if he's not part of the trouble that is going on in Oyo State, and that uh, as far as they are concerned, uh, uh, Sheimak in this government cannot be said to be pro youth in any way because they have not a help out in solving any other problem and that some of the issues that they have in you know they, they are adjusted is uh, to some extent traceable to him uh, but that, that's not really our concern we want to look at it from the perspective of uh, you know an islamic group humoric who came up you know also to lambas shayi makende for taking the action he did against this current administration. And that's what we're going to be looking at in a jiffy. But before we do that, if you've not subscribed to our channel, kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also on the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos. Now, according to the news, Islamic Human Rights Organization, the Muslim Right Concern Morik, has lambasted the Southwest for joining protests against the government of President Muhammadu Buhari on June 12. Recall that Nigerians in the southern part of the country, particularly the Southwest, marked the June 12 Democracy Day on Saturday with a protest. The protester clashed with men of the police in different cities as they were bent on stopping the protests from happening. Morik frowned at the protest referring to the protesters as certified ingrates, rebellious subjects, and articulated enemies of peace. Morik argued that the protesters have no moral ground to protest on June 12, since it was President Muhammadu Buhari alone who gave official recognition to that day when all past rulers had refused to do so. Morik's position was contained in a statement signed by its director, Professor Ishak Akintola, and made available on Monday. He said, and I quote, is what some Nigerians in the southern part of the country, particularly the southwest, marked Independence Day on Saturday, June 12, 2021, with demonstration. Although in neglig although neglig Although the negligible number who came out of the protests took place in Abuja, Lagos, Ibadan, and a few other places, we commend the police for handling the protests with maturity and professionalism as no casualty or brutality were reported. Mm. <laughs> However, the protesters exposed themselves as certified ingrates, unrepentant rebellious subjects, and articulated enemies of peace. June 12 should be a day for all Nigerians to celebrate Chief MKO Abiola for his sacrifices on the altar of democracy. He was a man who paid the supreme sacrifice after winning the presidential election held on June 12, 1993, which was criminally annulled by the military. The Nigerian civil society, including Mori, has been clamoring for the official recognition of that day as Democracy Day, but none of our past rulers, least not even MKO, not even, sorry, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, who hail from the same city of Abiyokuta like MKO. The former had all the chances in the world to declare June 12 as Nigerian Democracy Day, having ruled for eight years, from 1999 to 2007, but he bluntly refused to do so. It was a Northerner, a Fulani President, Muhammadu Buhari, who eventually proclaimed June 12 as Nigerian Democracy Day. It is our contention that for that alone, the people of the Southwest should show gratitude to Buhari. But what do, do we see? It was demonstration galore, the most shameful, most reprehensible, and most preposterous was the open participation of Governor Sheyi Makinde of Oyo State, 
who march on the streets of Ibadan will protest at chanting, chanting, Buhari must go. It is most naive for a sitting executive governor who came into office riding on the back of democracy to join a group seeking the removal of a democratically elected president through undemocratic means. It was a great disservice to the memory of MKO Abiola. Sheima Kinde is an ingrate. He should apologize to Nigerians for his immature behavior. Those protesters definitely missed the point and lost their bearing because Nigerians, particularly people of the Southwest, should be showing gratitude to Buhari for declaring June 12 as Democracy Day instead of participating in an unnecessary protest. The Quran gives immense honor to those who appreciate goodness. Uh -huh. Allah said, if you are grateful, I will increase my favor on you. But if you are disbelieved, certainly my punishment is indeed severe. On his way to Jerusalem, while passing between Samaria and Galilee, Jesus was met by ten lepers who begged him to heal them. Although he cured them all, only one of them, a Samaritan, a foreigner, came back to show gratitude and he was asked, Where were not ten cleans? Where are the nine? We asked As him to in response on to this the rhetorical question. A larger group of demonstrators gathered in Abuja to show solidarity with one who who read the drum song and one dance who knows these how are the nine. Good deeds, and we recommend and them Therefore, for their wisdom, boldness, and patriotism. Just continue mm -hmm. your good works. Expect you guys will believe that thing. Morik also called many President Muhammadu Buhari to ignore those who are ungrateful to him. He should continue in to this world walk and in here after mm. now listen to what he has said there there is no sentiment we should stop putting sentiment you know in this issue of leadership let's try to be real the reason for a day like democracy is a day of reflection reflect back on what you have done thus far you've been in office for you know going to seven years now this administration of six years this administration has been in the office what is that particular thing that they have done which had put smiles on the faces of nigerians that should be more important now if you look at the write-up you hear him appreciating those who roll out drums in uh, uh, Abuja to appreciate the president, call them probably uh, Biafra group. Now, but guess what? Videos are littered everywhere. With those children, call them children, uh, or, or youths who participated in it, confess that they were given 1,000 naira to come out and do what they did. But shockingly, the protest that took place, no one person was given a dime. They just felt that this administration has felt a great deal. It's not, it's not something that you take it to mind. Why are they protesting? If I have been performing superbly, would they be coming out like this to talk? What? Look at the papers. Look at the social media. Now they're trying to gag the social media. Look at all those places. You will know whether you're performing or not. Let's look at, oh, when I came on board, how was the uh, issue of uh, security? How is it like now? Okay, when I came on board, what was the exchange rate for dollars? What is it like now? Okay, when I came on board as the president uh, for the name for the past six years, what is employment like now? Is it have, have I been able to put more food on the table for Nigerians? The 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 the, the, the cases of uh, you know banditry, kidnapping, and all of that. How is it like now? And on the basis of that, you will know whether to improve. Personally, if I want to talk about the performance of this current administration, yes, we can applaud them in the area of making fuel available, you know, at our bake and call. That's the only thing I can say, ah, they have done superbly. But talk about insecurity. Today, most people have opted out of farming. And that, that's because there is no security. You can't be assured that you can go into the bush, stay there for a while without being attacked by Fulani Hitman. And we've been talking about this issue of Fulani Hitman from inception till today. Nobody has done anything about it. Today, look at what has just happened. They sent a trade later. If you check our video, you're going to see a trade later to the governor of Oko, uh, governor of Delta State, uh, Ifan Yokoa, that they are coming after him and his states to where he comes from, Abo, and also the state capital, Asaba, that they are coming after him. Imagine all of that. And this is traceable to these Fulani guys. 
So how do you expect the people to roll out drums and begin to celebrate that, oh, we that did not have work, we have work. Yes, he's doing one or two things uh, uh, to show that he's helping Nigeria. But hey, he's not good enough. Look at the issue of nepotism. Nigerians have been crying over it right now as we are talking. Virtually all those in, in uh, 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 enjoying appointment from this, I mean, all of them are not us. That's not how to rule because you're not the president of the North, president of Nigeria. So... Coming out to say that Shema Kende did badly for me, he didn't do anything bad. He took out time to address the people because the truth of the matter is that he was elected by the people. He was meant to protect the interests of the people. He may not be performing well, but he's trying to let them understand that we are not so happy that all of this is happening. Buhari must go, yeah, that was what they chanted. But it's like, hey, Mr. Man, you've been with, given you the opportunity to lead us. Do the right thing. Wake up and correct all the ills in our society. All right, like to leave it. They go to our comment section. Let's in.